I played a computer scientist on TV, a character named Donna Clark on a show called Halt and Catch Fire about computer science in the 1980s. And uh, one of the questions I got all the time was, what's it like to play a computer scientist who's also a woman? Um, and I think it sort of reveals that everybody is really aware that it's an industry that's not really open or hospitable to um, certain kinds of people that aren't white men. Um, so I was wondering if there's an experience that you had that made you feel like that was a place that you wanted to go and be for your career. And then also if you had any ideas or suggestions for ways that the profession could be more enticing to and supportive of different kinds of people that generally and traditionally feel shut out of that space. I started programming when I was a really little kid, nothing fancy, but I was always like super into computers and felt good there. But it wasn't until I was at the end of my third year of college that I decided to actually change my major to computer science. I was watching this Errol Morris documentary called Fast, Cheap and Out of Control, uh, which is about kind of how all these things fit together. And there was a roboticist from MIT in there and something in it just clicked with me. And I said, yes, computer science is the thing I have to do. And I changed my major. I did the whole thing my fourth year. I don't recommend that process at all. But it, I finally felt, oh, this is the thing that I should be doing. But that said, I was the only woman in the room for a lot of my education, especially going through my master's and then my PhD. There's just not that many women in computer science, especially higher you get in your education. And there's a lot of incidents where I didn't feel very welcome. Just people saying, oh, that's because women suck at this as opposed to you suck at this. Like there are things that I was bad at, but I kind of represented the entire gender, which was a really hard place to be in. I think computer science programs are now figuring out that they need to offer more support and the numbers aren't quite as bad, but there's still a real minority of women, but also people of color. It's a very white male dominated space. So I think for people who are interested in getting into the field, finding groups of people who look like you and who understand your issues is really important. They absolutely exist. There's black girls code, there's women's groups, there's groups for Latinas, Everybody who wants to do it can find a group of people in their space to encourage them. And I think that's really important. They'll likely have them within computer science departments, but they also exist all over the internet. And that's a really good way to connect to mentors and just other people who are gonna understand what's going on. But another part of the problem really needs to be addressed way earlier. We know that women get discouraged from going into computing related fields kind of around middle school. And so thinking about how we create programs for much younger girls to get them excited and connected into the parts of computing that are really attractive to them at that age and where they can do it in a space where they're not gonna feel like they're constantly criticized or pushed out. That I think in the long term is gonna make a big difference towards bringing more women into the space.